Hi everyone, I am Coral. Welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my voice. I got sick again over this last week. I'm here with my daughter's little kitty sleep mask that I do wear over my glasses, thank you, uh, to talk about a readathon slash watchathon which was created by Alex the Bookubus. And this is called the Scary Sleepover Weekend. So this is going on June 24th to the 26th. It is just over the weekend. And there are five prompts. Three of them are for books and two of them are for movies, which, so it's just like perfect. You know, I just read a book Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I watch a scary movie and it's really sounds like such a blast. For all three of my book selections, I picked kind of shorter books, books that um, I probably would have been reading in my very early sleepover slumber party years just so you know I can really sit down and read three books in a weekend because typically I would not be doing that. The first prompt is pajamas read a cozy book. For this I chose slumber party by Christopher Pike. This also takes place over a weekend apparently. I've not read this. Um, it says, Laura thought the ski trip should be a blast. The old gang was getting together again for the first time in years. What could be better than six single girls out for sun and ski, plus a huge house and a warm fire? Even with the memory of what happened the last time, it looked like the perfect weekend until things started to go wrong. Of course, as they do. So, man, this just sounds perfect. I mean, it's called Slumber Party. I should be reading this book this weekend, right? The next prompt is popcorn. Read a popcorn story, which Alex described as something just like light and fun. For this, I chose the second book in the Goosebumps series. This is Stay Out of the Basement, which was one of my favorite like Goosebumps episodes. Um, it's probably one of my favorites because it was like one that I would get to watch over and over again because my grandma had bought the like VHS of it. It was like two VHSs, which was kind of funny because it is two episodes, I guess, if you watch like the Goosebump show. Dr. Brewer is doing a little plant testing in his basement. Nothing to worry about. Harmless, really. But Margaret and Casey Brewer are worried about their father, especially when they meet some of the plants he's growing down there. Then they notice that their father is developing plant-like tendencies. In fact, he's becoming distinctly weedy and seedy. Is it just part of their father's harmless experiment? Or has the basement turned into another little shop of horrors? Excellent. Okay, and the last book prompt is Scary Stories. Read a supernatural story. This one I chose Christina's Ghost by Betty Wren Wright. This says... The last thing Christina wants to do this summer is stay with grumpy old Ralph in his old Victorian house. She's sure she'll have an awful time, but on her very first day there, Christina meets a sad, mysterious little ghost boy who seems to need her help. Soon Christina discovers the house contains a mystery that was never solved, and that the ghost boy has something to do with it all. But how can she make Uncle Ralph help her solve the puzzle? What is the evil, chilling presence that lurks in the attic? And why is it still trying so hard to frighten her away? Okay, and now the two movie prompts. The first one is Truth or Dare, watch a film from the decade you were born. And I chose for this Candyman. I was born um, in the early 90s and this actually came out the year I was born. So it's kind of perfect. This is also like one of my very favorite scary movies. One of the very first ones I remember watching. Uh, one of the first ones that I remember renting, you know, getting to pick out from the movie rental place. So yeah, Candyman is like an urban legend. It's about, um, if you don't know, it's about this um, woman who is, she's like a college student and she's doing some sort of project on urban legends and there's this local urban legend of the Candyman um, in the projects Cab Cabrini Green and she goes to investigate it and finds out maybe it's not just an urban legend. Man, this is just such a beautiful movie. Um, the 
music is stunning. The outfits are stunning, especially um, Tony Todd. His performance is so good. I mean, he has live bees in his fucking mouth. It's, it's just one of my very favorite movies. It's so scary. So if you haven't watched the OG Candyman, I mean, the, the new one too, is good too. The 2021 is so, so excellent, but the original Candyman, I just don't know if you can top it. It's so good. And the last prompt, number five, is Pillow Fight. Watch a slasher film. So for this, I picked one that I haven't seen yet out of my own collection. This is The Slumber Party Massacre, which, I don't know, when did this come out? 1982. And of course, you know, I thought this was perfect for a scary sleepover. Slumber Party Massacre, it's a slasher film. That's just about all I know about it. When Trish decides to invite her high school girls basketball teammates over for a slumber party, she has no idea the night is going to end with an unexpected guest, an escaped mental patient and his portable power drill crashing the party in the cult classic, The Slumber Party Massacre. Perfect. That's all I need to know. Um, you know, for a long time, I really didn't think I liked slasher films, but I'm finding especially slashers in the 80s. Some of them are just so outrageous. Some of them have the greatest practical effects. And um, I'm glad that that I didn't just stay in that mindset of this has no point because that's, you know, what I thought it was like, this is the same recycled plot over and over. Like they're just killing for no reason, basically, it seems like. But, you know, when you sit down and watch a good amount of them, you find that most of these people, I don't know about this because I haven't seen it yet, but most of these slashers are driven on by revenge, which is a pretty good reason, I think. So yeah, i um, excited to pick this one up finally. So that is what I'm doing for the Scary Sleepover Weekend. Uh, if you're participating, I'd love to know what you're reading and watching. I'm always, of course, on the lookout for new books and movies to watch. So uh, also check out Alex's video. You know, she obviously talks more in depth about why she has created this and the prompts and stuff like that. So um, check that out. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Goodbye.